Today we're going to go over a few items that are good ideas for you to remember when you're visiting someone and staying at their house. And this kind of applies across the board uh, to most socioeconomic groups. Of course, there will be some differences. Uh, you know, if you have a, a friend that you're staying with who has a, a daily housekeeper that comes in and does everything, things will be slightly different uh, than if it's more of a middle class or lower class uh, friend that you're visiting that doesn't have uh, domestic help that's constantly there. So this is just a general general idea. Uh, one thing is to be gracious, to recognize and appreciate what it is that your host does for you. Kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah, not really. Uh, some people visit others and there's kind of this expectation that, well, yeah, you said I could stay with you when you come, so of course you're going to drive me around and spend time with me and provide me with food and provide me with shampoo and, and clean towels and make the bed before I get there and after I leave. And yeah, there, it's a lot of work to have a guest and it's important to appreciate uh, those that invite you and have you as a guest. Number two would be a shoe policy. Know what your uh, host's shoe policy is, and if they do not generally wear shoes in their home, it's very good of you not to do so either. Uh, and whether you decide to bring uh, you know, a thick pair of socks that you're going to wear, a pair of slippers, or barefoot, uh, kind of know what it is that your guest likes and be prepared. Kind of know what it is that your host likes and be prepared for that. Before you leave someone's house, uh, after you've stayed for a night or, or multiple nights, ask them what you should do with the bed sheets and the towels. And some people will say, oh, that's okay, we'll take care of it. And you should at least once then say, well, I, we really don't mind. Can we at least toss them in the washer and see what they say? And some people will want you to. Some people like to wash them right before the next guest arrives and will say, yeah, please just leave your bed as it is. It's, it's really okay. Then, then we're very gracious. And keep in mind that, that allowing somebody to give you something can be a great gift to them. We all like to do things for other people, and if other people don't let us do something for them, then we can't feel those good feelings. So keep in mind they might be getting a good feeling from letting you have a, a hassle-free, pampered stay at their place. Another thing is that if you're visiting someone and you happen to know people in that city, that area, uh, don't invite them over to your host's place unless you have permission. And please don't pressure them into giving you permission. They might like you, but they might not like your friends. And it puts them in a very awkward position uh, if you say, hey, can I have the, uh, you know, the Johnsons over? Or can I have a party? Uh, yeah, God, it's hard to say to your guests no, but you really don't want them to. So I suggest don't even put them in that position. Uh, you can drop hints. You can say, hey, um, we're probably not going to be around tomorrow evening and we're planning to go out with the Johnsons and, and find a good restaurant around the area and just go hang out with them. They might then say, well, why don't you have them over here and have a barbecue and we'll stay out of your way. Well, who knows? Uh, but at least you shouldn't expect them uh, to welcome uh, people that you know that they don't know into their home. Definitely ask first. Okay, next thing is kind of the, the financial piece. And most, you know, I'm going to say it doesn't even really matter how much money you have or your host has. Uh, imagine what it would cost to have similar, uh, similar uh, dicks. I mean, if you stayed at a hotel or a bed and breakfast or a uh, BRBO or a, what's the thing where you... Uh, uh, Oh, I forget what it's called. The uh, the, the blow-up mattress thingy. <laughs> that service. Think about what it would cost to get what you got from your hosts. And if a comparable hotel in the area is 250 bucks a night and you stay for three nights, they saved you $750. And if you've been eating there, think about what those meals would have costed. And a three-day stay they just might have given you the equivalent of a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollar gift by allowing you to stay without charge at their place. So it doesn't have to be completely equal, but do something nice for them. Don't take it for granted. At least take them out for a couple of nice dinners or bring home a bunch of shrimp or some steaks or something to kind of show that you appreciate it and say, you know, this is just a a fraction of what you guys have done for us, but thank you so much. Can we make you some steak tonight? You know, something to that effect, but know it and appreciate it, and you're more likely to not be hated afterwards, and they're going to want you to come back and visit again if you're not an unappreciative drain on them. 
All right, and finally, and there are other things as well. These are just some of the things that kind of came to the top of my head. Uh, another thing is dishes. If you use dishes, take care of them like your hosts generally take care of them. And some people leave dirty dishes piled all over, and others don't. Um, some people who I greatly respect, never let a dirty dish ever sit in a sink. As soon as that glass of water is finished, it is rinsed out with water and then placed in the dishwasher. And if that is how your host does things, do that. Definitely don't just go stack all your dishes on the countertop or in the sink and expect them to rinse them out and put them in the dishwasher. Just kind of don't make a big deal out of it and at least rinse everything off and leave it stacked so they can put it into their dishwasher as they choose, or if they hand wash, they can do that if they choose. Definitely offer to wash the dishes. Uh, same thing with things around the house. Good idea to just say, hey, if there's anything you need done while I'm here, I'm you know, not that handy, but I'm happy to help, so just give me some chores. It Just that nice offer lets them know that you appreciate them and, and don't want to be a load, uh, a big heavy load <laughs> uh, that's dropped in on them. I look forward to chatting with you again when I have more of this stuff that we might say is common sense, but eh, no, it's not. Please do subscribe. Look forward to chatting with you soon.